So let's graph the solution to minus 16x plus 1 less than or equal to minus 15. So we'll solve this using the test point method. First, we'll ignore the inequality and solve the equation minus 16x plus 1 equals negative 15. And this gives us the critical value, x equal to 1. Now, since x equals 1 solves the equality, negative 16x plus 1 equals negative 15, and the inequality allows for equality, x equals 1 is part of the solution. And so the solution includes the critical value, x equals 1. So to graph it, because the critical value is included, we'll want to put a closed circle at x equals 1. So we'll select the closed circle, and then put a closed circle at x equals 1. Now notice that the critical value separates the number line into two parts, the part that's to the right and the part that's to the left. We'll test a point in each part. So to the right, we'll test x equals 1 million, and we see that if x equals 1 million, minus 16x is a large negative number. If we then add 1, well, it's still a large negative number. And negative 16x plus 1 is less than or equal to negative 15, and so the inequality is going to be satisfied. So we want to include the region to the right of the critical value. On the other hand, there's a region to the left of the critical value, and to the left we see that x equals 0 is included. And so if x equals 0, we want to see if our inequality is satisfied. Is it true that negative 16x plus 1 is less than or equal to negative 15? Well, if x is 0, we get... which is false. 1 is not less than or equal to negative 15, and so our solution does not include the region to the left of the critical value. And so to graph our inequality, because we do want to shade the region to the right, we'll switch to the line tool. And then we'll mark, starting at x equals 1, go to the right, and keep going until we get that right pointing arrow. And now that we've graphed, we can submit our answer for the green check mark that says full credit.